Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph f of x equals tan of x plus pi over 4. And what I have here is kind of the standard, um, our standard form of our equation with transformation. So we can be able to identify, you know, how is our graph going to be transformed. And you can see that really the only thing that we have is we don't have an a, a b, but we do have this c here, and there's no d. So let's go and see how is that going to affect it from our parent graph. So um, we don't need to determine an amplitude because tangent does not have an amplitude. But we do want to determine our period, our x scale, our horizontal shift, and our vertical shift. So the period, it, um, instead of being 2 pi divided by b, is just going to be pi divided by b. For the x scale, I only like to take my period and divide it by 2. Okay, um, Period divided by 2. Yes, um, I don't do pi divided by 4. You can do divide by 4, though, if you like. Um, horizontal shift is going to be x plus pi over, ah, shoot. Horizontal shift is going to be bx minus c equals 0. And vertical shift is going to be d. So let's go and figure out each one of these values, and then let's graph it. Period, pi divided by b. You can see there is no b in this case. Nothing is being multiplied by x. So we can say it's 1, because really that's what it is. So my period is pi. My x scale is going to be pi divided by 2. Just take your period, which is pi, divided by 2. Horizontal shift, you can see, is bx minus c, which is inside the parentheses. Pretty much all you want to do is take whatever's inside the parentheses, set it equal to 0. So x plus pi over 4 equals 0. So subtract pi over 4. x equals negative pi over 4. Now, a lot of times we use our x scale, so that means the graph is going to be shifted pi over 4. And to graph these, even though these graphs never stop, um, we always want to kind of find a, a place to start. And I like to start at the horizontal shift. Last thing is the d, which in this case, we do not have a d. There's nothing added to the end of my um, function, so therefore it's none. So now, let's go ahead and graph. Um, when we're graphing, I always like to start at my again, at my horizontal shift. So I'm going to say, hey, the first part that I'm going to start at is going to be at negative pi over 4. Then notice that my x scale is pi halves, right? So that means to each coordinate to the right or to the left, I need to go over pi halves. So I'm going to do um, one to the left and one to the right. Oh, yeah. well. Yeah, period to the right and period to the left. OK, well, <clears throat> first of all, it's kind of important to know, uh, let's figure out what the scale is. So pi half, so I'm going to add to add pi halves over here. So that's going to be a negative 3 pi. Oops, I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and add this up. So therefore, the next one is going to be plus pi halves, right? So if I add pi halves which is pretty much the same thing as um, adding 2 pi over 4, what I get is pi over 4. And if you add um, pi halves again, which again is like another 2 pi over 4, you get 3 pi over 4. Add 2, um, two pi over 4, right? Pi halves is the same thing as 2 pi over 4. Right? So I'm adding 2 pi over 4 because that has the same denominator as 4. So then the next one would be 5 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. I can go in the negative direction as well. So this would be negative 3 pi over 4, negative 5 pi over 4, negative 7 pi over 4. OK. So now that we know where the starting point is, we need to understand what exactly is the parent graph of tangent look like. Remember that the starting point for tangent that is going to be the x-intercept. And at the next two scales, that's why I divide scale by 2, because I only care about the other, I only care about where it crosses and then the two asymptotes. I'm not really concerned about the points in between, but if you do want to cut up the scale into fourths, then yes, you can actually figure out the values of tangent. But for this course, I'm not really too concerned about it. I may, mainly want to know, do you know where this intercept is? And then how to find the next two asymptotes. So my graph of tangent crosses at the, at the starting point, then approaches this asymptote, and then approaches that asymptote. So it goes intercept, asymptote, intercept, asymptote. Intercept, asymptote, intercept, asymptote.
And then you can see that this graph is just going to continue just like on its merry old way. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph the tangent of x plus pi over 4. Thanks.